guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel as you've seen by the title i am sharing with you guys the steps i go through to get ready after a certain break before i move on to the rest of the video i just want to start by saying that the initial intentions of this video was just to create some shots that are somewhat aesthetic and put them together and upload it however i last minute decided that i wanted to add a voiceover because i guess this way it's just far more informative for you guys now that i've cleared everything up let's just go ahead and get started with the video the first thing I do when my breaks are coming to an end is definitely declutter my room. My room is either super clean or super messy, It's there's no in between. And this break in particular, I wasn't feeling super motivated and I wasn't home most of the time, so you can guess my room was pretty messy. And at this point, I don't think it's necessary for me to explain why you should clean your room. So the next step for me is winding down. Now this works differently for everyone else, but I personally like to do this a couple days before the start of school. And this is because I usually do tend to study and revise just a little bit over the break. So I like to spend some time off by myself and just relax. So the nights before school starts, I'll just turn on my diffuser and make myself some tea and just sit there and watch YouTube or even read. This next one is something I got into recently or just a few months back and it is baking or trying new things right before the end of the break. So these usually include new recipes or just anything I wouldn't usually have time for during the normal school year. And I'm just gonna say it here, I don't think smoothies are very innovative and creative, but I wanted to make it because I had one from Starbucks the same morning and I just feel like creating my own and healthier version of it. So again, trying something new doesn't necessarily have to be a massive achievement or adventure, but instead it could just be trying something very small, such as a new recipe like I'm doing here. And when I first started making it, I didn't intend to make two of them, obviously. But the first one was really good that I wanted to make a second one. So the first one I made was with blueberries, the second one with mangoes. I don't have specific measurements for you guys, but basically it's very simple. It's just banana, some milk, plus whatever fruit or fruits that you want to include. This next one is quite obvious, or at least I hope it is. It is to finish up any assignments or projects that your teacher have assigned over the break. For me, I like to leave the last couple days to do that just because I don't have very many big assignments, so there are very little things that I have to catch up on, so it doesn't take the entire break. And for the other days, prior to that, I just like to spend time doing work or stuff I genuinely enjoy or just things that are apart from school and are not related at all. And the last thing I want to share is that I get into the habit of going to bed around 11 o'clock again. My sleep schedule isn't exactly out of whack, so it only takes me around one or two days to actually get back to it because over the break I sleep around 12. That's one hour difference. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out more of my contents. And all of my social medias and podcasts and websites will be in the description. And by the way, I uploaded a podcast earlier this month, so I would really appreciate it if you would check that out and let me know what you think on it. But yeah, that's it for this video. For now, I will just say goodbye to you guys as well as my spring break. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!